אני אוהבת את הבית ספר. I like this school very much because we study Arabic and Hebrew and each language is accepted. We are Arabs and Jews together. It's very special, it's not all like and other schools. And it's yeah. we very like important to do peace to for uh, three uh, religions. Yeah, all of us are Muslims. Muslims. Arabs and Jews in school together, it's happening. Hand-in-hand -hand schools are unique in that Arab and Jewish students speak and study together in their two Semitic languages. Theirs is a reality quite different from the situation that is taken for granted in Israel, especially in Jerusalem, where two populations are each taught in isolation. They live side by side, yet in totally separate worlds, coming together only in cases of necessity, for example in hospitals, at university and in commerce, yet they hardly ever integrate. What we're attempting to do is to create an opportunity for peace. Too many people believe that it's impossible for Arabs and Jews to live together in peace, but we're able to show daily that it is possible. These young people know conflict and talk about it. They don't always agree with each other, but it's all right to disagree with each other and with their teachers as long as they listen to each other and respect each other's opinions. We teach, uh, the students Muslim wish to remain Jewish or Muslim Arab or Christian so Arab, but to share their languages and culture. And so there are two head teachers and two teachers for each class. The schools are a model of bilingual teaching, resulting in a revolutionary system of education. Needless to say, learning through Arabic and Hebrew involves an acquaintanceship with one another's culture and provides a gateway to potential knowledge of the history and religions of two peoples. Established in 1988, the Hand in Hand project for Arab Hebrew education now has four schools. Apart from this one here in Jerusalem, which has classes ranging from kindergarten to eighth grade, there's one at Misgav in Upper Galilee, another at Beersheva, and a fourth at the Arab village of Wadi Ara. All in all, they cater for a total of nearly 900 students. Much patience is needed, says Rafaela Corias. But with patience, we hope to spread our ideas, to help to build a different society, not simply a different educational system. Development of a multicultural school system and a doubling of staff will, of course, involve double the amount of money. Nevertheless, with this aim, the hand-in-hand -hand schools meet regularly with Israel's Ministry of Education and is able to make progress thanks to donations by local and international organizations. The basic aim is ambitious, to create a new awareness in the young generation, something that can be summed up in this slogan. Learn today how to change tomorrow.